everyone welcome back to my channel happy monday i hope everybody had a great weekend i am very much looking forward to this week because i only work two days so i work monday tuesday i took wednesday off and then we have thursday and friday off for the thanksgiving holiday and my birthday is on saturday so i took wednesday to give myself a nice five-day weekend <laughs> Uh, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, but today I am here to do a small shop spotlight. Now, I used to do these a lot on my channel, and then I started purchasing more accessories. So my like haul videos became small shop hauls where I shared multiple um, stores with you guys, multiple items, stuff like that. But since I have been slowing down on purchasing accessories, uh, just because I do have a very extensive collection of collections <laughs> for diamond painting, um, I've been just a little bit more selective about what I'm purchasing. Um, when I'm purchasing a tray, I'm trying to make sure it's a unique color to my collection rather than just having like the same colors from different shops. So I've just become a little bit more selective. And this is actually the only small shop purchase that I have in my possession right now. It's been a bit since I've shared anything on small shops and if you've been a part of my channel for a while you know I do love to uh, support and share um, small diamond painting themed shops. So I'm going to be sharing some trays from uh, Creations by LEP. I don't remember if it's Crafty Creations still or if it's just Creations by LEP. I will of course link their Etsy shop down below. I'll also put, uh, put a link to their Instagram. Um, but I made a purchase recently. I have three trays in here and then I would thought I would just go through my little basket of my trays from them and just kind of show you what they have available. Um, I feel like I found this particular tray company pretty early on, so I have a few different variations of their trays, um, and I would say that they have become fairly popular. I do see plenty of people using their trays, and I was super excited about uh, their Christmas release. So let's go ahead and get into these, and then I'll kind of show you what else they have available. So I have an invoice. And we have some trays, and I am so excited. I believe that Wednesday will be a kidding up of my next project. Uh, I am a little bit, I'm filming a bit in advance. Um, so I'm still working on my kit for Night Court November, but I'm thinking by the time this video is about to go up, I'll be hopefully finished with that one and can film a kit and chat for uh, that kit, which should be on Wednesday. Anyway. Um, so here is the business card. Okay, so uh, tag us on social media with the tag Crafty Creations by LEP and their Etsy shop is Creations by LEP. Got it. So I will leave links down below for all of that stuff. Now, I did make my purchase because of the Christmas tray release, but she had one of these Halloween trays still in stock, which I was interested in. I just never made a purchase before then so I was really excited to see that she had one left but check this out so we have obviously it's orange with some black bats but if you look they're raised on the lid and I think that just looks so neat and I like how the little notch there is in black and I personally love when trays have colored um I don't know, lines, I guess. Looks like there is a little bit of an imperfection here, but I don't think that that will affect too much. I could probably get some drills and we could test that out. Um, you do get two stoppers. So we have the heart and the one, two, three, four hexagon. <laughs> and yeah, I do enjoy these. Oh, I like how the, the logo has the black as well. I will say that I do wish there was more of a like proper spout if that makes sense I tend to kind of bypass this spout altogether and then just pour back into my container from the corner so in theory I never remove my stopper um I have in the past it kind of depends on what storage containers I'm using if I'm using a container that has like a larger opening that I can kind of set the spout in 
um, then I will. But if I'm using like something really small, I'll tend to bypass the spout and just use the corner of the tray. So let me show you the other ones I have and then we will, I can grab some drills and we can take a look at that. So these are the two that I was most excited for. Obviously the Halloween tray will go in my stash for next Halloween, which will be nice. Um, but like I mentioned, I do plan to kit up a Christmas kit and I wanted to use one of these trays. I don't quite know which one I'll use yet, but aren't they so cute? So we have a Christmas tree. I love this one. Oh, I love it with the green lines and then the stoppers are red and green. Come on, it's so festive. This one looks really nice. The lines look really great. Bottom looks good. We have the logo once again. Oh, this one's so cute. I love it. I will say with these particular trays, the more you use them, the easier things move around, which I think is pretty like universal with 3D printed items. So when you first use them, it might be a little bit harder to get the top in, but once you are, you've used it a few times and things are kind of sliding a bit better, like you can see this is already sliding better than when I just took it out of the package. But how stinking cute is that? I love this one. I think this might be the tray that I use for my next kit. And then we have everybody's favorite, the red truck. How cute. Uh, so this one is white with red lines and it looks like we have green on the stoppers as well. So cute. I love these. Super, super adorable. I will again leave links for this shop down below, but I did want to show you um, some other options that they have in their shop. So, oops, this is a different store. Let me just put that over there. It looks like I have two shops sharing the same container. So let me just move those over there. All right, so I store all of my trays into these little collapsible bins. I get these on Amazon. I get them in like a five or six pack. I have them in two different sizes, but I can leave links down below for these as well. Now, there have been a few iterations of these particular trays. My first ones, if I'm not mistaken, were these. Pretty sure it was these two. So when the trays first came out, they did come with the spouts on the long side, which was not my favorite for the double trays, at least, because... I have small hands and I tend to always shake my tray like this. Let me grab some drills. I feel like that would just make it a bit easier. Well, let's use this tray. So I think the standard way that a lot of us shake these trays is like this. Give them a little bit of a tap. You can see how nicely those line up. But with the this particular style of tray, I struggled a bit because I have small hands. And this is probably just like, there's a small group of us that probably have the same problem. But this is just too wide for me to get a good shake. I mean, can I do it? Sure. But is it the easiest thing? No, not really. But again, look how nice those line up. So I have, I think I have two that go this way. And then I'm trying to think of which ones were my first, if I'm going to be honest, I think maybe one of these, uh, this is just their standard, like, you know, larger tray. And then looks like I have these duo chrome type ones. These are all in the single, which is my preferred, I will say. Here we go. And then they changed to this style of the double, which allowed you to shake it like a regular tray. 
didn't put very many drills in there, but you get the gist. Uh, which I definitely preferred this version over this version. However, I will be honest and say that I have figured out that I am not really someone who likes to have a lot of drills. I, I don't like to have a lot of colors out. I get confused of which drill goes into which container. Like if I do use multiple colors, they're like completely completely different ends of the spectrum. I'll have like a neon green and I don't know, a black. And then at least I know I can't mix them up. But sometimes with paintings, you have colors that are just really similar. So this isn't my favorite, but I do prefer this over this style. I cannot remember if you can still get this particular style in the shop, but there's that. And then I think... Okay, so here's another one of the, um, this style that I just showed you in the yellow. I love this color. It's so pretty for spring. And then I also have, sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I have everything here. I also have a couple of these half size ones. I do have another one, but I think I used it in a recent finish that I haven't reorganized it yet but this is just the regular tray in a little bit more than a half size but this one works great I use them fairly often this is the standard I love this color standard um you know one color larger tray and then I have you can see all my little stoppers I try to keep them in baggies but then <laughs> I do love that um, they provide you with an extra stopper. This one does not go there. They do provide you with an extra stopper for each um, tray. So you get a heart and then a hexagon, which is awesome. Um, but these trays are some of their multi-placing trays. Now, I have used these once before. They were really popular a few months ago. And when I saw that... Um, Creations by Ellie had them. I was like, oh, I love, I already love her trays. Let me try hers. And they're good. I like them, but I think it's more of a me issue. The trays work. Like, I'll show you, obviously. That's why I kept drills out. Um, the, tr the drills do shake out. You do get, you know, the appropriate number if you shake it long enough and get everything lined up. It's there. I mean, look at that. You've got four drills. You've got three drills. I think the biggest thing for me with these multi-placing trays is I just use a larger placer. I tend to use a seven, a 10. The kit I'm working on now, I am using a four placer because it's a square and I prefer to use a, a smaller placer for square kits. But these trays work and I do like them but I just don't gravitate towards them because I do prefer larger multi-placing I guess is the easiest way to put it let me actually grab some round drills which I do have right here okay. let's do some round drills so here are the squares in the multi-placing tray and here are the rounds like they work you can see how nicely they line up so it's not it's not that they don't work it's just for me I don't love them but I mean, you know, you get five over here, which is great. Um, on some like more confetti paintings where you have, you're using a smaller multi-placer, maybe these would work for you. My biggest issue with the multi-placing trays is I have a hard time getting the drills out. Now, Ellie does have these funnel tops, which I'm going to be honest, I don't love. Um... I've struggled to use them. I think when I got these trays in, I tried to show you guys in a video me using them and I just struggled. It was 
come on. It wasn't the best. So let me get this on. Now I love the idea of this. Like this is just so neat, but it just didn't, the execution for me wasn't there. So I know this is loud, sorry. <laughs> So you can hear them, right? Like they're still in there. And I just struggle with getting them down the funnel and into the container. And I find that it creates some static. No, I mean, that was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. That was a pretty good shakeout. It's just, they're not my favorite. And I think that that's fair. If you use these multi-placer trays, and you use them often, let me know if you feel like they get easier over time. I mean, obviously with a lot of things, the more you use them, the easier it'll be, the more success you'll have. But if you are someone who consistently uses these trays, let me know your thoughts because I feel like, and I don't know if Ellie has trays with larger uh, multi-placer sizes. I feel like people are starting to come out with those and then maybe this kind of like trend died down. I feel like if I could find a tray that was at least like a seven placer um, friendly, maybe I would give them a try. These just aren't my favorite. So let me know your thoughts on the multi-placer trays down below. But um, let me show you how the rounds line up uh, in one of their regular trays. Trying to keep the tops together. Let's do, I'm gonna use the truck. Although these drills might blend in with this a little much, but that's okay. Give them a good shake. And you can see how well both round and squares line up. So there are the squares. Here are the rounds. Really great trays if you are looking to try a new type of tray or just, you know, support a small shop this holiday season. Um, definitely recommend. I use them quite often. So that's my little haul plat slash small shop spotlight. Um, again, I'll leave all the links for it. Creations by Ellie down below. Uh, definitely check them out if you are looking for something new to try. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, Wednesday, I will be back with a kidding up kitten chat plus choosing my accessories. Promised you the next one I did would be a choose my accessories. And it'll kind of be like our little Thanksgiving celebration. So um, I hope I'll see you guys there. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.